Next, let's sync the characters. The line art will be based on the sketch. First, I'm going to lower the opacity of the sketch layer to 50% in the layer palette. Then, I create a new raster layer. To draw the characters above the manga frames, I'm moving it above the frame border folder. I change the layer name to character1 in the layer palette. To draw, I select the tool palette, pen and use the real G pen. In the tool property palette, I change the brush size to 20 and increase the value of the stabilization. I use the navigator palette to zoom in and out, rotate and flip the canvas, to put it at angles that makes it easier for me to draw. Smooth lines are best created when you draw at an angle you are comfortable with. Switching between the pen and eraser tool, I keep inking the picture. As the frames are in the way right now, let's hide the frame folder for the time being. In the case of a black and white manga, marking the parts that are all black at this stage makes it easier to work later. With that, the inking of the characters that are placed above the frames is complete. I can now erase the frame borders where they overlap with the figures. To do that, I create a new raster layer and move it between the character 1 layer and the frame border folder. Then, I choose white from the color wheel palette and using the G-Pen tool, I draw over the frame border lines. A different way to do this is to use the Auto Select tool and refer Edited Layer only to Select, and select the space surrounding the characters. Then I invert the selection.
As before, I create a new raster layer. And with the selection launcher, I fill in the selection underneath the characters in white. Then, I deselect everything. In the Layer Property palette, I turn on the border effect and add a clean white outline around the characters. I can also freely adjust the width of that. This finalizes the filling in of the color. Next, let's advance with the inking of characters that are shown inside of a frame. Let's start by creating a new raster layer and putting it into the frame border folder. When clicking the layer mask of the frame border folder, the mask will be enabled. I select the previously created layer and then continue inking as before. This concludes the inking process.